I'm not saying I haven't been happy here, Jack. Who cares about happy? You're the lodger. You weren't here for therapy. Certainly not family therapy. Don't be so facetious, Jack. Boys, I won't tell you again. It's gone eight. Pete, we uh, haven't done anything to upset you, have we? No, nothing like that. It's just all the work I'll be doing on wagons all the late nights. I just think I'd be best suited to the hours to keep at Annie's cottage. Well, you've certainly got it all worked out between you. And what difference does it make which lodger we have? Do we need the rent or not? Richie's a good lad, Jack. Is Richie moving in? Excellent. He's bringing his computer stuff with him. There, someone's happy then. But I like him. Likes you so much he's nicked all your aftershave. Why are you? Sarah, you have forgotten that we're going to the youth club after school, have you? Have you been in Pete's room? Honestly, I don't mind. Do you want to lift to the school bus, lads? I told him all your Reynolds on the likes, rough lads. Will you shut your trap, you nerd? That's enough. Come straight home after the youth club. Yeah, unless he cops off. Get stuffed. I'll, uh, I'll come back and sort my stuff out. It's up to you about Richie. Right then. Thanks. I just don't like being told what to do. I seem to remember coming back from a holiday to find Pete living here. At least Richie will help the boys with their homework. Grumpy Daddy. There you go, that's 12 pounds. Just a minute. There we go. Ah, oh, my goodness. Uh, my food, come in. Good. Have I got a bogey up my nose? No. What's your stupid face in aid of, then? You're in there, Andy. Uh, right, come in. Yes, good. Is, is that everyone? Uh, right, right. Uh, um, all, all I wanted to say is that uh, this is your youth club, and I, I want you to have as much say in what happens here uh, as is, um, well, well, feasible. What does that mean, then? He needs a gym club. Uh, uh, out of bounds, I'm afraid. That, that's Mr Pollard's, please, that's. Well, what about the video? Uh, ditto the video. It's for use with the gym equipment. So, can we get on the stage and muck about? Uh, <laughs> you're going to hate me for this, but uh, I, I don't think insurance-wise... So what you're saying, Vicar, is that it's uh, feasible for us to stand here for an hour and then go home? There's ping-pong. Right, everyone. Truth or dare. Or truth or dare. Don't forget to ask Ollie. Ask her. Truth or dare, Donna? Truth. Is it true you snog Stephen Harker? In his dreams, I'd have to be dead on a slab. No, Donna, that's in our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie. Dare. You're supposed to say truth. I know, dipstick. You've got to kiss. You? No. no. What about word association? Knickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right then, that's the lot. You sure this is okay? Yeah, as long as you pay your rent. Can I just say thanks again? <laughs> I think you'll get on like an house on fire. Well, I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> it's been our pleasure, Pete. Good luck, mate. See ya. See ya. Hi, Pete. Take a seat, Richie. Sarah will make you a cup of tea if you like. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, uh, I'm all right, sir. Hello, you. How are you? Oh, it's your little cutie. <laughs> Hope you'll be all right with three kids around. Oh, it'll be a lot easier than all-night beer sessions and Mrs Windsor being overprotective. Well, you won't have to worry about Viv Windsor popping in here for coffee. <laughs> right, but as far as kids are concerned, I'm only 19 myself, Mr Sugden. Don't have to cast that far back to remember what it was like. I'll cut up. Is that your dolly? Go on, Ash. One more go. Ashley, if you don't mind. Uh, and I'm, I'm getting a bit bored with this game. Can we not play ping pong? Anything. You're scared of this, aren't you? Why would I be scared? Do you fancy Bernice? <laughs> Day to tell the truth. Uh, Ollie, this is a youth club. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, sure, Polly. He fancies us, doesn't he? He does. So what if he does? You fancy her? No, I don't. No need to sound so disgusted, you little maggot. I don't. I mean, I do. Sticky back plastic. Uh, we need to do something rather than all this silly talk. Um, 
Let's make a model of Tracy Island. <laughs> oh, so way off the mark. I, I, I'll just pop back to the vicarage to get the materials. Uh, behave, please. Betty has gone for a sly drink. Right. Who wants to watch a disgusting horror video? Yeah. Holly. Don't be a smarm all your life, Mark. I told you it was good. You got good taste. In films. Ollie, turn it off. No, I'm not your slave. I asked you not to touch the television. Oh, just two more minutes, Ash. The priest's about to get his head cut off. Show's over. In fact, youth club's over. Good night, everyone. I'm not walking home by myself after that. Then you'll have to ring your parents and explain why we finished early. Was this your idea? It's the most creative thing we've done all night. Oh, come on, Ashley. You have to admit, you weren't very prepared for it, were you? Does that give you the right to abuse other people's property? It's only Eric Pollard. If Ashley can't trust you, then what's the point? You say you want to be treated like adults. What do you know? You're just some bimbo barmaid. I'm sure your mother would be very interested to know where you got that video from. No, she doesn't like horror films, my mum. In which case, I'm sure she'll hate you watching them too. Isn't it illegal to show video nasties to children, Ashley? Why don't we ask your mum, Ollie? She is a police officer after all. Yeah. She bought me this. And she bought me this bangle. Just